Hi, everybody. David from Mark's right here. Just a quick one over the weekend. I was uh, doing a little project, personal thing. I needed to get some uh, imagery out of a PDF, a book. Uh, this book over here, it's uh, copyright free. It's a really old book. It's called Paradise Found, Cradle of the Human Race at the North Pole. Yeah, that'll, that'll get you thinking, right? Anyway, so I downloaded that book and I basically popped, their, popped it open. Get the window out of the way. I popped it open in PDF marks here and we get a preview of the, of the book. Um, the scan as it were paradise found the cradle of the human race in North pole. And then, uh, I'd like to use this image right here in my, uh, in, 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 uh, my movie, you know, plop it in there as a, as a graphic, as an exhibit, so to speak. So what I can do, I can take this thumbnail right here and I can drag and drop it onto my hard drive or wherever. And then I get that image right here ready for use. So just a really neat way to use ID marks to get information, to share information. This, in this case, copyright free. Got to make sure you have the, the right to use stuff before you start ripping apart PDFs like this. You can also right click on a thumbnail, a thumbnail and um, copy the preview. So if I wanted to actually take it into, send it as a, a mail attachment, I can paste it in like that. I'll get it right there. I can also right click and do share and do a tweet or like that. Another way we could do it, we could go right click, export as, which is going to open the export button here, and we could export a ping. We can go from one to page 10, just export the uh, image needed. Even do some automations if I want to do after that. And now I can export that. I exported one through 10, but in any event, you get, now you get the, the image as a JPEG for using as you like. Can I open this, you know, edit this however you like. I have an image ready to be used as you see fit. Just a neat little side tip I can use PDF marks which is now called PDF DTP and PDF marks you get if you buy PDF DTP and soon PDF marks will be coming out and replacing PDF DTP anyway. But just a little tip on how you use it, how you can use it to get content out of PDF files to use in other ways, shapes and forms. I know a lot of people are using PDF DTP, our current version and PDF marks in the future, just to get at images, to get at a logo. A lot of customers will say, yeah, my logo is in the PDF. They don't understand that, you know, it's been attached there as a linked file. They just know it's in their PDF, and now we can get in there with this types of these types of tools and, and grab uh, graphics, amongst other things. We can also then, of course, uh, export all the text stories. In this case, it's just a scan, but uh, nonetheless, we could see how useful it could be to just get out text, different elements. Um, not to mention. Another thing you can do is you could export in many different ways to get other stuff. You could do export the text stories as say uh, HTML or RTF. RTF is cool because it's stylized. You can then use that in WordPress or use that in, in InDesign or whatever you want to do. And we export that. I have, have, have it so it should open up after it's done. Yeah, there you go. So now we get all the text exported, stylized right from this document chapter by chapter, copyright free. Pretty cool, huh? Now you can also just go right and click open InDesign or open an Affinity Publisher. What the heck, let's try it out. Let's try open an Affinity Publisher. Let's click on it right there. Now this might take a little bit of time. Okay, sorry, I was playing, it's now opening up in Publisher. It's, it took, I mean, it's a 550 page book. Non-facing spreads. 
Let me get to get this thing out of the way here. Yes. Now, for such a big book, it does take time to load. You see up here loading. The big documents, uh, Affinity takes a little bit of time. But so then again, so does InDesign. I mean, let's face it, the bigger they are, the longer they take, generally speaking, not always. All right. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I took off a little bit there, but it opened up. So it did it. I mean, look at that. And we can go in there. And what's cool is they've uh, OCR'd the text. So you can get actually get into the text. And it leaves a layer of the original scan. And then underneath it, you get to the actual text eventually. But you have access to the raw text, which is which is really neat. And some of these old historical works that you might need to reference or what have you. So that's pretty cool how you can take a PDF here via PDF marks and pop it right up open into Affinity Publisher, InDesign, whatever you might need to try to do. So just a little tip on how you can take some historical PDFs in this case, some old books, some out of copyright books and repurpose them via PDF marks in the DTP application of your choice, or just use some of the images for social media or for making videos or whatever it might be. All right, David Dilling from Marksware with this quick tip. Check out PDF marks on marksware.com right now. It's called PDF to DTP. If you buy PDF to DTP, you get PDF marks as well. Still in beta, but will be out very soon. All right, have a great day. Make your time bleed, a conversion tool to what you really need. It's a fast moving world, got to keep on the top. With a little help, I'm sure you won't never have to stop.